we'll have time more to ask questions. Meanwhile, uh, I invite uh, Mr. Travis Kerr. Travis, please. So let's welcome him. Hey, uh, yes, good afternoon. Uh, so PMC, we, we entered the called the storage market and started up a division, focused on that in, in 2003. Um, the business really started to accelerate in around 2006, uh, post um, acquisition of a storage controller company uh, that Agilent ran, and Martin Scott, who ran that business, I, I see today in the audience. Um, it was at that time that we were really looking at uh, you know, the opportunities we had. We did not have um, all the experience or all the capability to execute on them. Uh, the business was growing at 20, 25% a year. So we, uh, it was then that we looked at you know, what would be an appropriate charter um, to, for India and how do we invest and how do we build um, a center of excellence there. So the, uh, the conclusion was to, you know, for us to focus on India on VLSI. Uh, the things we do with silicon, uh, most of our chips are SOCs. So we have, we have a silicon component, uh, a firmware component. We often have software stacks that run on the chip, and then there's also often cards of the, of the products going on a, in a board format. But the focus was to build a, a VLSI or a silicon center of excellence in India with a focus on an area that, that we called uh, big data. Right? And, and we launched that in 2006. And the, um, you know, we, when we looked at the market and looked at you know, what are some of the top growth areas for, for the semiconductor industry. Uh, and you know, store data is growing at 50% a year. Um, you know, the, the proliferation of the smartphone. Uh, you know, we, um, my, my, you know, my children are on Facebook downloading you know, 10 megapixel videos and uh, photos constantly up into the web. Um, you know, most of uh, my peers now at work have have uh, dropped their their cable subscriptions and and use um, internet TV for uh, for things like um, you know watching movies and and uh, watching TV etc. So certainly the mar the market dynamics were there. Um, there were uh, there's in addition to sort of the social media aspect, there's the pure digitization of these massive data sets. So things like mining. Um, uh, avionics is an, is an example of a particular area that we worked with the customer on. Um, uh, uh, mining, the, the human genome, medical imaging, x-ray, uh, sort of, you know, endless opportunities. And the challenge that our customers had is the, the silicon that was out there today just didn't have the capabilities or metrics to sort of keep up with this demand. So we were really looking at not just using the site to just develop silicon, but look at the site as, hey, we need to learn how to invent a new set of silicon. So it's not good enough just to sort of focus on implementation, but we need to figure out how to get the site uh, focused on architecture, innovation, and, and complete IP ownership. Um, it's an example of, the, uh, of, of one of our customers. Um, you know, just in, uh, you know, in the avionics space, there's 17 petabytes of data uh, generated a day just from um, from uh, from flight data alone. So as we look out, we looked out, in the, you know, forward. Um, the number of servers over the next 10 years was going to increase tenfold. Uh, the number of data, you know, the amount of data over the next 10 years was going to increase 50-fold. Um, and uh, you know, we looked at um, India as well as an end market, right? And you know, with the Transition from, from 2G, you know, now into 3G and, you know, one day into 4G. Uh, um, you know, as mentioned, the, uh, you know, the half a billion sort of middle class subscribers and, um, you know, the, 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 uh, the amount of data consumption uh, is, is certainly going to be big here in India. The challenge that we had is that in the storage industry, um, there's still isn't a lot of, of OEMs that build storage boxes in India. Now, there are some multinationals that have sites here, like Cisco being, being a, a perfect example. Um, but largely, most of the, the storage, so the storage system or the server um, are, uh, platforms are, are imported. So 
What we were not able to do, um, which is very ideal, is to have sort of product definition and concept um, run out of India. And we found that it's very important to be close to your customer and having, having marketing or having you know, product launch and definition um, in India, you really need an infrastructure. So we are hopeful that, um, you know, that government policy and, and um, corporations will move more and more of manufacturing to India so that we can have storage um, manufacturing and storage development here. Uh, you know, so, you know, we, uh, PMC, the, the task for our team, the customers that we, these parts we're going to sell into are, you know, the, the, the big OEMs of the world. So, uh, you know, the, the storage OEMs like Attache, HP, EMC. Um, but we also, uh, you know, have a focus on developing solutions for the data centers themselves. So, um, you know, our engineers, our architects, they don't just engage with the OEMs, but they also engage with the architects at Google or the architects at Facebook, uh, Baidu, Tencent, Alibaba. Um, and although there are some data centers that are starting to be deployed here in India, I think Tata has, has a, is launching one, um, you know, the, uh, the ecosystem here is still, is still fairly uh, in, in the early stages. So the challenge for the, for the design team was to really look at some of the sort of the big hurdles that were facing the, the chip industry for big data. Um, the proliferation of SSDs, uh, solid state drives, was completely changing the way our customers were architecting their boxes. Um, the move from data from a corporation into the cloud was creating a bunch of security concerns. And just the sheer amount of scale of data. Um, moving from network storage into these hyperscale architectures. And the teams really needed to understand what these trends, you know, these are the trends that sort of the marketing folks presented, but it was up to the design team to figure out, okay, how do I build something that's low latency so, so that it, it'll uh, fit in an SSD world? What kind of encryption technology do I need to develop so that I can have a secure system? Um, and how do I build something that can scale at low power for the, for the hyperscales? So the answer after many years of work, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you the, more of the evolution on the next slide, 